Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. Now we're here to look into my toilet drain. So we're in the master bathroom. I discovered a few years ago that this toilet water has a voltage on it, an AC voltage. And it's quite a high AC voltage, it's called stray voltage. And it's a few hundred millivolts that's on my drain. And I found this quite concerning. Um, for quite some time, I've actually been wondering about how much current can be passed from the drain through to a grounding system or a human urinating into the drain standing on the tile floor. So this is one of the tests that I devised to try and understand what's actually going on. And if you look here, we actually have a 9 volt battery and that's connected out to my reference ground rod. And what we're going to do is this connection right here is connected onto this meter to reading 200 millivolts of DC amps. And we're going to complete the circuit to measure current by touching this probe onto the battery. So let's go ahead and do that and watch the display. So you can see that we actually have 116 milliamps flowing between the home electrical grounding system and the non-electrified ground rod in the back garden. So that tells us that we have a very good ground connection for doing our measurements. So what I'm going to do now is I actually want to pass current through the toilet drain and out to the garden non-electrified ground rod over here. So we've connected our red current probe onto the toilet drain. So this red connection goes out to a copper rod that's sitting in the toilet drain over here. And we're going to try and pass current through the toilet drain and out into the garden non-electrified ground rod. And we're going to measure it and we're going to see what we find. So. Here's our probe, we're all set up to do the measurement. So I'm gonna connect it on. And we can see that there is a connection there, but it's very, very poor, the connection. So we're only getting 0 0.1 milliamps going down the drain. So I'm gonna change the range a little bit so we can actually get a better reading. So we're on 20 milliamps now. So you can see it's 0.13. So let's go down to two milliamps and see what we get down there. So we're on the two milliamp DC meter range. And you can see that we're getting 0.138 out to the garden. So that's 138 microamps that we're passing through the toilet drain. So that is a significant amperage to have coming up your urine stream. So that's what I wanted to know. I wanted to know, is there a circuit being made between the back garden ground rod and the toilet drain. And there is, you can clearly see it. So what we're going to do, we're going to come back up to the 200 milliamp range. And if I can get this probe to stay in contact with the battery, we can pour some brine down the toilet and we can see what happens. So I have a bucket of salt water brine. And, and this is made out of water softener salt. You can get it for a few dollars in the hardware store and you just pour water on it, let it soak and then you have a bucket of brine and brine is very conductive so let's see what happens with the brine so you can see our current went up, it went up to 0.5 milliamps so let's go down the range again so you can see it's 0.38 of a milliamp. Let's go down to, in fact we can't go down to the next range. Yes we can. So you can see on the two milliamp range, we're actually getting 0.255 on the meter reading. So let's come back up a range. So we're on 0.23. 
Let's put a little bit more brine down there and let's see what current we get. So we've almost got a milliamp of current going through the drain. There we go, we've got a milliamp. So that's what I wanted to know with this drain, is could it pass current between a non-electrified ground rod in the back garden and the toilet water? And the answer is yes it does. And that's quite concerning because it means that we may be dealing with some level of induction coming into the drain because the drains on my house, I believe, are ABS plastic. But we're obviously also dealing with a direct connection because we can pass current between the ground rod and the toilet water. So there's definitely an electrical circuit taking place. And when you have that electrical circuit, it means that you may actually be receiving a very low level of electrocution every time you use the toilet and that level of shock that is coming up your urine stream is probably low enough that you can't sense it but it may actually be high enough that it actually may make you quite sick long term so i urge people to be careful with electrified drains and if you're seeing strange kidney problems bladder problems or urinary tract infections and problems in that area, you may want to have your drains checked by a professional electrical forensics person because you may actually be urinating into electrified drains. So that was the purpose of this demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.